Today's Tuesday, December 23rd, and this is news from the front. Hey everyone, a uh, very quick update, uh, just in the middle of a coffee break here, so I thought I'd snap a quick video. Um, a follow up to a follow up of the video that I did uh, about the P85D and the fact that it didn't seem to accelerate the way it did, and the subsequent test in the last video, link here, um, that said if you charge it to 100%, then it will it'll, it'll give you the best possible acceleration. Thinking about it last night, um, stupidly, I, yeah, of course it, that's the case. Um, back in episode 10 of News from the Front, link here, um, where I talked about the effect of cold weather on batteries, I showed this graph. Uh, this shows the discharge curve of a typical Panasonic lithium-ion battery. Now, not necessarily the one that's in the Model S, uh, but it, it's kind of similar. One of the things that you will notice is that the voltage drops off from um, when it's fully charged to uh, as it begins to discharge. And so when it's fully charged, you're going to get the maximum voltage out of the battery. And so you're going to get the maximum power out of the battery pack. Uh, as it begins to discharge, the voltage drops off. And so you can no longer get quite as much power out of the pack as you would before. Now, I am not a battery engineer and it is possible that there's all kinds of other things go on that mitigate against that, but at least superficially, that kind of makes sense to me. So uh, I think the mystery is solved. The fundamental discharge characteristics of the lithium ion battery explain why if you want to get the absolute fastest zero to 60 time out of your car, as a bunch of us will be doing when we go up to the drag strip on January 18th, then make sure you are absolutely at 100% charge of your battery. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, another episode following soon. Bye-bye.